Hey coin collectors and welcome to DC Coin World International Coin Channel and today we're going to take a look at a 2004 US mint set. This is a silver proof set and I want to thank Silver Seeker who has a YouTube channel for showing me how to open these up and so let's take a look at this. This actually comes in a box that says a silver proof set on it it's from the US mint. If you tip it up you can see that you can just open the edge when you open the edge, and I'm wearing gloves for this because uh, just this is, uh, these are really valuable, I guess. And so we're just going to, inside you'll find a certificate of authenticity. And inside the certificate of authenticity, which opens up itself, if I can open it with these gloves, you'll find that it has the specs for all the quarters. And I should say that in 2004, they made 1.175 million of these. So these, while not rare, are pretty valuable. Um, and they're valuable both individually and as part of the set. Now you see here it says 2004 50 state quarter specifications, 90% silver. And then on the back they have all the other coins. And of course some of them, that the cent... And the nickels, there's two nickels in here, they're not silver, but the dime, the half dollar, the dollar is not silver either, of course, the Sacagawea, and then all the quarters are silver. So let's take a look at them. So Silver Seeker told me that the way to you, um, in his video, the way to do this is you just take these and you tip them back and forth until you can break the seal. And you can hear a snap sometimes when the seal is broken. Let's see if it works the same for me. He was much more capable of doing it than I am, it turns out. But let's see if we can't get it to work. And we see there's a little bit of a break there. That's not really what we're looking for. What he's looking for is to pop it like this. And once you do it, this case is not going to be any good anymore, of course. And so then when you get it out, you have this as part of the proof set. And it's sit sitting in, it's kind of a styrofoam thing here and so what what we'll do is I'm going to put this down and then open the other one and then we'll look at them all individually so this is a 50 state quarters part of it and um, I would not suggest you do this unless you have uh, some kind of intent to get rid of the um, uh, or, to, or to use them in a, in a different way so what happens with these is that you see I'm still trying to break those seals. Yeah, that'll happen sometimes. You just want to get that out of the way, right? And so when you do break it, you make sure you get it out of the way and you get all these um, plastic chips out of the way as soon as possible. And then you go straight to the other set. And this, of course, is the U.S. State Quarter set from 2004. And it took me a while to get to the air, but when you get there, you'll see uh, what uh, what a beautiful set of quarters these are. Now let's let's take a look at them and actually take a so this these ones all. Of course, the one of the ways you can tell it's a mint set is you can find the S. Now the question is, um, what's the difference between a mint set, a mint proof set, and uh, silver and non-silver and that's when you're going to have to actually pop it out like this and when you pop it out like this and turn it over look at that so that is a silver coin what does a regular um 2004 look like well here's one of the regular 2004s it gets a little scratched up when you use it and when you tip it up you see that on its edge you see the copper because it's a copper nickel plated copper and so you can see right in here the copper that comes through, and that's going to be the difference. So if you see this, you know it's going to be a silver quarter. And if we flip it over, we see that this, of course, is the Wisconsin quarter from 2004. And look at it, it says forward on it. And if I tip it like that, you can see why people collect proof coins right there, because this is just magnificent. So what we'll do with this is... Uh, we'll put it straight into a bag um, and, and put, it in, put it straight into some other kind of bag or device um, so that it doesn't get scratched and you can maintain its proof status. Not so good to look at when it's in there, but it's more protected. Of course, the United 
States um, 50 State Quarter Series started in 1999, and so this was the fifth year of them. So we're coming up to at five a year. We're coming up about halfway, and um, this uh, this is the states that, that were came in in the 20s from 21 to 25. So there's Wisconsin, and I'm just going to pop out the rest of them, and I'll put them aside and then put them in the wrapper afterwards. There's Texas, 1845 to 2004. And again, these are all going to be silver, and they're all going to have the same uh, George Washington um, on the front, looking to the left. And as, as you know, they moved um, some of the information from the back to the front when they changed the quarters. And uh, so this says United States of America, liberty under the chin and God we trust here, quarter dollar behind. And then they moved it so they could put all the information in the back about the state and the state design. Now, people say, well, they used to make silver quarters and they did. They made them until 1964. This is one of the last of them. Uh, and if you tip this one up, you'll see that this is a silver quarter also. And then this, of course, is the old design that was used up until 1998. And you notice on the old design, the United States of America was on the back. Um, but when they went to start making the state quarters, they put the United States of America on the front. The Pluribus Unum stayed on the back, but quarter dollar moved. And you see this one right above quarter dollar in this one. See where the mint mark is there for the Denver right underneath? The olive branch on this on this coin on the right, and the, uh, that's how they did the mint marks uh, in 1964. So both of these are silver coins. Uh, this one actually is is significantly more in value, um, simply because um, it is a proof set. But they're both reasonably valuable. This even in this condition is worth um, probably five bucks. What other states did we have in 2004? Well, we had the state of Florida, and there's, um, of course, the vacation land. But then, the, the, remember in Florida, they also put in the fact that there was a Spanish influence, so we have the Spanish galleon there. Gateway to Discovery, it says. That's a space shuttle. There are some palm trees. 2004 Repluribus Unum, and that is just a magnificent coin. Also, same front, same S. Next up, we have Michigan, and you, those of you who get quarters and just collect the regular quarters, you never see one that looks quite like this. But you can actually see all of the Michigan in there. The Great Lakes State, 1837, this is a 2004 quarter. Tip it up and we know that it's a proof. And finally, it's the Iowa State Quarter Foundation in Education. It has the old little one-room schoolhouse. Uh, it's Grant Wood, who was a great artist, and so this engraving was kind of taken from a Grant Wood painting. Foundation and Education is the name of it, not the painting, but the coin, and it's a 2004. Iowa became a state in 1846, so that's our state quarters.